This lesson will show how to verify some properties of circles. And in the first example, we're asked to show that the right bisector of the chord AB passes through the center of the circle. So the right bisector means the line that goes through exactly the middle of AB and is perpendicular. So the middle, of course, means the midpoint. So the first thing we'll do is find the midpoint of AB. There's the midpoint formula. And so we would add 7 and negative 2 and divide by 2, and then also 2 and negative 7 and divide by 2. And so the midpoint is the point 5 halves, negative 5 halves. And so drawing the chord AB, here's the midpoint. That point is the 5 halves, negative 5 halves point. Now in order to find the uh, equation of the line that perpendicularly bisects AB, we need to know the slope of AB. So 2 minus negative 7 would be 2 plus 7 in the numerator, and 7 minus negative 2 would be 7 plus 2 in the denominator, which equals 1. So AB has a slope of 1, which means that the perpendicular bisector has a slope that's a negative reciprocal of 1, or negative 1. So the equation of this perpendicular bisector using the slope y-intercept form, uh, m would be negative 1. So it's y equals negative x plus some y-intercept b. Now the way we can find the y-intercept b is use the point that's on this line. So I'm going to substitute negative 5 halves in place of y and 5 halves in place of x. Now notice there's a negative x here, so that's why this ends up being negative 5 halves as well. It's negative five halves. So b would have to be zero here, which means that the equation is y equals negative x plus zero or just y equals negative x. Now if the y-intercept is zero, that's why this does have to go through the zero, zero point, which of course is the center of the circle. So that verifies that this perpendicular bisector does pass through the center of the circle. So hence, the center 0, 0 is on the right bisector of the chord AB. In fact, it's on the right bisector of any chord in the circle. One more example on the next page. We're asked to show that the circle passing through the points P, Q, and R has its center at 1, negative 2. So there's the center, is what we think is the center of the circle. Now we're going to verify that this circle does have its center at 1, negative 2 by using the distance formula. So we're going to find the distance from P to C and R to C and Q to C and show that they're all the same. So that's why C would have to be the center of the circle. So the distance from P to C, so we would go 3 minus 1 squared and uh, 5 minus negative 2 or 5 plus 2 squared. This is 7, 7 squared is 49 and 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4. And so 4 and 49 add to uh, 53. So the length of uh, PC is 53, root 53. So for RC, we would go 8 minus 1 squared and negative 4 minus the negative 2, or plus 2 squared. So that's 7, 7 squared 49. And this would be negative 2, and negative 2 squared is 4. And once again, we get root 53. One more point, Q. So find the distance from Q to C. So we would go negative 1, subtract 1 squared, and negative 9 minus negative 2, or negative 9 plus 2 squared. And so this is negative 2, and negative 2 squared is 4, and this is negative 7, and negative 7 squared is 49, which once again is the root of 53. So all those points are the same distance from C, so they must be on the circle, and C is the center of our circle. Now we're asked one more question here. Is this the only circle that passes through the points P, Q, and R? The way you can verify that, and here's my concluding statement from the first part, the way you can verify the second part here is to draw in chords from uh, P to R and draw in their perpendicular bisectors. And if you do that, so here's the chord Q, R, and the perpendicular bisector would go through here. And you'll find that they both those perpendicular bisectors go through 
the point C, which means that C is the only possible center for this circle, which means that there's only one circle here. There's not a second circle that can be drawn with the same center and passing through those three points. So since both perpendicular bisectors of QR and PR intersect at the, the, what we found is the center, then this is the only circle that passes through points P, Q, and R. There's not another possible circle. It's the only possible one because those right bisectors of the chords intersect at only the point 1, negative 2. And that's the end of the lesson.